if you want to know how you can make your own temple run game in Roblox, make sure you watch this video all of the way to the end to find out exactly how to. Hey guys, and welcome back to this brand new tutorial on my YouTube channel, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can make your own temple run game in Roblox. So, on the App Store, or Play Store, or whatever you got on your phone, uh, there's a game called Temple Run, and basically, you just run, and you go over obstacles, and that's basically it. It's like an infinite runner, get the highest score, and that's basically the game. It is a pretty addictive game, so we are going to be recreating that in this tutorial. But before we start, I want to give the huge, the biggest, the, the most enormous shout-out I've ever done to my friend TigerBlocks, because TigerBlocks is the man who made all of this code work function he spent hours editing it he's the one who offered me to make a video about this so thank you so much for that and every script you see is made by tiger blocks uh, i'm gonna be honest i did not do anything uh to code it so uh, tiger blocks just offered me to make a video on it i accepted and now we are going to be coding his template and then you will have a functional temple run game that is exactly what we're going to be doing in this tutorial if you're new to my channel and you like this video, make sure to give this video a like if you like it. And if you don't like this video, please drop a dislike on the video because honest feedback really helps me out a lot. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on that notification bell, and make sure to become a member if you want by pressing the blue join button down below on my channel. That is everything I had to say, so without further ado, let's get right into the tutorial. So now we're going to be setting this bad boy up. So you're probably wondering, newbie, how do we set this up? I'm going to be showing you exactly how to. In the description, there is a link to a model. So click on the link in the description, get the model, and head back to studio. So let me repeat that. Go to the description right now, get the model link, and get back to the video. Launch studio, do whatever you want, and that's basically all you have to do. Now, you're probably wondering, newbie, how do I get this in my game? So you want to go to view, you want to go to toolbox, and then you'll see this beautiful toolbox. We actually got seek over here, doesn't matter. You want to click on the four blocks over here, inventory. So click on that, you'll get all of your models. I have a lot of models, so don't worry about that. But what you want to do, you want to click on temple run newbie tiger. So three, two, one, click, and you'll see includes 60 scripts. You're probably wondering newbie, what? Don't worry, we're not gonna, we're not gonna, uh, gonna be coding all of those scripts. That would be a five hour video. We're not gonna be doing that. We're gonna be coding like six scripts of them. So that's what we're going to be doing. So just click uh, okay, and then click toolbox away so you get more space on your screen. And then you'll see this over here. It's a pretty big model. Um, so what you want to do now, you want to open the model you'll see a lot of stuff like we're, we're almost using all of our things so you'll see credits 100% uh, of the credits goes towards tiger blocks you could just delete that script but anyways thank you tiger blocks delete that and you'll see workspace so uh, let's do that as last because uh, else it's a little bit um, uh, unorganized so you see lightning lighting whatever you want to uh, get all of the lightning uh, descendants and then you want to put them in lighting Actually, hold on. Let me just delete the rest. You want to delete uh, all of them first. And then you want to put them in. So, 3, 2, 1, boom. And you'll see this. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Epic. And then, now you can delete the folder. Replicated storage. Same story. Get everything of it and put it in. Replicated storage. Delete the folder. Service of service. Put them in. Delete the folder. Server storage. Uh, server storage. The, delete it. Storage to GUI. Put in a start to GUI. Uh, let's see, and then delete this. But this one is a little bit tricky. So put the starter character in starter player, like over here. But put the control script in starter player scripts. Wait, so before you continue, uh, there is one mistake I did, and I am currently editing this video, so I just realized. But what you want to do, you want to make another local script over here. Over here, name it camera script. And then disable it, just like that. You just make a local script, turn it disabled, turn it off, and that's all you have to do. Because the, the script needs some kind of camera script or else you'll get some 
uh, or else you're gonna get some stupid error. Um, it's not like a game breaking error, but it's something you want to prevent. So that is exactly what we just did. So let's continue that videotape. So not over here, no, 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 but over here. So you'll see start your character over here and control script in starter player script. Now you can delete this one too. And then lastly, just put the rest in workspace like that and delete the rest of the folders like that. This is your entire game setup, and now all we have to do is code some things. So let me just open up all of the scripts we have to code. So let's see, we have to code, I think everything over here is coded already. Yep. So what we have to code is uh, coin collected, fire, kill, shield boost, and control script, I think. Like those kinds of scripts. I think one of the other scripts too let me just double check that no 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 and nope so i think uh we're good with these five scripts so let's go ahead
So that right there was all of the coding for this tutorial and we have now entered the recap section So I'm gonna be briefly explaining what the code does because um, We coded a huge amount of code and I think explaining every single line is gonna take me a long time And nobody wants to watch a 50 minute video So in the coin collected we are just checking they were just doing some normal checks, and if it, if you're touching a coin, we are gonna make sure you get that coin, and we're gonna make we're gonna play a sound. We're gonna destroy the coin. We're gonna put it on your coins collected, and I just realized uh, this should be that value. I'll make sure uh, to put that uh, later on too. So in fire, let's see what we've got here. Fire. Uh, if you have no shield, then we're just gonna make you die of fire. That's basically it. Kill, if you die, we are going to give you a ragdoll effect, uh, effect, and then, um, some, S uh, some, uh, welds for the rest, and we're checking if you got a force field, and if you don't, or, uh, if shield is a force field, then we're making a bool value, putting it there, so the scripts can do the rest, shield boost, basically, um, just some ordinary checks again, some, like, true or false statements, and then over here, uh, we're making a force field, we're naming it shield boost, we're putting it in your player.character, player.character.humanoid.walk speed, we're going to double your walk speed, uh, because you're going to be using your ability, skill falls and true, task.delay, we're going to wait 15 seconds till it runs out, and then we're going to switch it around again. The control script, this script basically handles uh, what you see, that's basically all I have to say, this script does everything that you have to see. So that was kind of the, um, like, it was insanely briefly, I know. So let's click play, three, two, one, and play. I hope studio doesn't crash. It doesn't. Great. And we should see. We should see this. Press space to start. And we do have some errors immediately. Oh, well, it's actually spamming. So let's try to fix that right now. Align one, three, seven, one, three, seven, move two. Why does that not work? Let's see. And it was because I didn't move too, but it just needs to do colon move. My bad. Uh, I'll, I'll make sure that in the coding section, uh, this will be uh, noticeable. So let's play again, because this is the things you get as a developer. You just get some errors, and it's glitching again. Happens a lot. Let's play again. Okay, now it works. Sometimes studio crashes a little bit, but don't worry about that. As you can see, no errors, 3, 2, 1, space. The monkey comes... As you can see, and we are running as Tiger Blocks. As you can see, we are getting coins. We are doing the obby. Okay, let's see. Boom. Okay, and I'm going to go up. Okay, there we go. So as you can see, this is how you make a temple run game. So if, if we die right now, let me just die real quick. And boom. Everything stops. Coins collected. 33. Distance run. Blah, blah, blah. As you can see, we respawn. As you can see, press space to start. Space. The monkey comes. And we can run again. Uh, we can run away from the monkey. And then we just do this, and we die real quick. And as you can see, the monkey comes, and we are going again. Yeehaw! Basically this. This is um, the temple run game. So, you're probably wondering, newbie, what happens if this ability gets used? So, let's uh, get the... Let's try to get that ability. And you get the ability by getting coins. So, let's get some... Let's get a lot of coins. We can get a lot of coins over here. Okay. More coins. I'm basically just doing an obby right now. Because it's pretty cool. So let's do this. And then this. And then we're almost there. We almost got our ability. Okay. Almost. Double almost. And it's going to turn yellow. Right now. As you can see, it just turned yellow. So now what happens if I click it? And I'm going to click it in 3, 2, 1. And boom. We get a force field, we can run through everything, we do not die, we are just, we just keep going, as you can see, I am actually Sonic right now, look how fast I'm going, I can walk through every single thing, this is the ability you get to use, uh, when that happens, as you can see, the ability runs out, everything stops, and I can die again. So this is how you make a little, uh, temple run game, on Roblox. So this is basically everything, so if you did in fact enjoy this tutorial, make sure to give this video a like if you like it, and if you don't like it, please drop a dislike on the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on the notification bell, 
and become a member, do anything you want. And all, and all I can say is that my name is Newbie, and I say peace out.